Hey there, Aries. What's going on? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Welcome to Spill the Tea Jewels. This is your timeless general reading. Please be mindful that this reading is general, so it may or may not resonate with you. If this reading does resonate with you, please do not forget to hit the like button below and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. So let's get the current energy for you guys. What is the current energy surrounding Aries? Please show me Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placement current energy. What is Aries current energy at the moment? Show me the current energy for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Okay. King of Swords. Some of you guys could be dealing with a air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or you could have these placements in your charts. I feel like Aries, a lot of you guys are uh, distancing yourself from people. It's like you're cutting out certain situations, certain people in your life that um, I, I feel like there could be a lack of trust here. Okay, The King of Swords is someone who thinks very logically, but this is also a very smart intellectual individual. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys are seeing people for who they are or seeing a certain situation for what it is. Um, this is you clearing your thoughts here as well. This is a head over heart um, energy. It's like a lot of you guys could have been in your feelings about a particular person or a particular situation, but you're stepping out of that energy and it's like you're seeing the facts here, okay? Okay. Hmm. Tell me more about the King of Swords and Aries energy. Seven of Swords. So yeah, this is definitely like what I was picking up earlier. Lack of trust here. A lot of you guys, it's like you're just seeing someone for who they are. Okay, this could be a friend. This could be a family member. This could be a lover here. I feel like this is you needing to protect yourself and stand your ground here. Tell me more about these two cards. You have the Ace of Swords. A lot of you guys, it's like you're seeing the truth of someone. You're seeing someone's true colors here. Seven and one is eight. That's a, that's the Strength card. Could be dealing with a Leo, but I feel like a lot of you guys are holding back towards a particular person that you don't trust here. This could be somebody that you could have found out was either cheating, lying to you here, stealing from you. A lot of you guys have gained clarity or you've gained the truth about a certain situation or a particular person. Bottom of the deck, you have the Seven of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups. I feel like this could be someone here, Aries, that you guys were waiting on. It's like you were waiting on this person to express themselves, to show you appreciation, to show you love here. And it's like you are finding out that this person was doing something behind your back here, trying to get away with something, not being honest with you about something here. Clarify this Ace of Swords. The Hierophant. Ooh. So this person could have been in a relationship already. Five and one is six, which is the lover. So that's a, you know, that, that's a card of a choice, a major choice here. A lot of you guys have made a choice to cut this person off because you found out that this person was already in a commitment or in a marriage here or just, you know, simply committing themselves to someone else. And I feel like with this Seven of Pentacles, Aries, this is someone that was making you wait, okay? With the Knight of Cups, this is a, a smooth operator here. This is somebody that's very charming, but this can also be someone that's very flirtatious, very wishy-washy. And I feel like a lot of you guys were trying to figure out why this person was acting so weird with you you know it's like one minute they would show you all of this attention all of this affection here the next minute it's like they went ghost you know because that's what the knight of cups is this is someone that is very moody very emotionally imbalanced very unpredictable queen of wands 
could be a fire sign, another fire sign here, but I feel like this is you. You are the queen of wands where it's like you are starting to step into your power here. Step into your confidence, know your worth, take your power back. A lot of you guys are either not speaking to this person or you are just completely detaching from this situation. What's coming towards Aries? What's coming towards Aries? What is coming towards Aries? What is coming towards Aries? Six of Cups. This wants to come out in the reverse, but I'm kind of feeling like this person wants to return. I feel like, you know, you guys are separating yourselves from this person, but this is someone that wants to return. Tell me more about the Six of Cups and what's coming towards Aries. The Star, a wish fulfillment. But I feel like it could be too late. <laughs> Especially if you're finding out the truth about this person. I feel like your wish is going to be fulfilled too late here. 17 and 6 is 11, which is the justice. So justice is being served in your favor. But I feel like you are going to have to make a major choice here. Of whether or not you want to renew this connection with this person. Now, this doesn't have to be a love interest here. For some of you, this could be a friend, you know? This could be somebody that you grew up with, okay? Six of one, um, sorry, the Six of Cups is somebody that you have a lot of memories here with. This is stemming from your childhood. This could be like a childhood friend or just somebody that you went to school with or somebody that, like I said, you've just known for a very long time here. Tell me more about these two cards of what's coming towards Aries. Clarify the Queen of Wands. There goes that Queen of Wands again. So I feel like either this person is a fire sign or they embody fire energy here. This could be someone that you have either a very strong attraction towards, um, you know, or, or this is just somebody that's very passionate, very fiery here. Five of Wands. So there is conflict between you and this person. For some of you, this could be a mother figure. If this is not love related, this could be like a mother figure here. It's like you could have had an argument with a mother figure. But I definitely feel like whoever this person is, this is someone that wants another chance. They want to heal things here with you. Two of Swords, but you're closed off. You're definitely closed off. I feel like you are avoiding this person. But I strongly am getting the sense that whoever this person is, this is someone that's wanting to come back in. Ask for your forgiveness here. But I feel like you guys are going to be at a stalemate right now. You know, it's like you guys are going to have to make a very difficult choice because I do feel with the star card could be an Aquarius, but I feel with the star card, it's like you were wishing and hoping for a commitment with this person. You know, you wanted something more and I feel like you're going to get it. But now you're just like, okay, well, I found out something that you were hiding from me. You know, the fact that this person was possibly with someone else here. Three of Wands. Some of you guys are just going to move forward. Some of you guys are going to move forward. Some of you guys were in a commitment with this person and you could have found out that this person was cheating on you. Because we have five here. Three and two. That's that five. The Hierophant. Some of you guys are just going to like take the high road here. It's underneath this. Six of Wands. This is going to be successful for you. I feel like you moving away from this situation, Aries, it is going to be very successful for you. You're going to be coming out winning. From this situation. What's going on in Aries career and finances? What's going on in their career and finances? Seven of Wands. There could be some conflict in the work field. It's like you could be feeling like there's people trying to compete with your energy here like trying to come after your position tell me more about the seven of wands some of you guys could be feeling on edge or feeling attacked at work 
Knight of Wands. Show me the energy for these two cards. Clarify these two cards for me. With all of these wands energy, you got the Emperor in the reverse. This is a boss here. I feel like you guys could be dealing with a boss that's very difficult to handle. This could be somebody that abuses their power. This could be a boss that, you know, it's like they get their title. It's like their title gets to their head here. You know, this could be someone that abuses their title. Okay. The emperor in the reverse is somebody that's abusing their power. Someone who's excessively controlling, stubborn. This is your energy here as well. So a lot of you guys... You know, some of you guys could be fighting for a position. It's underneath this. The Queen of Swords. I feel like a lot of you guys, you know, I'm kind of getting the sense here, Aries, where with the Knight of Wands, a lot of you guys are going back and forth of whether or not you should stay at your current job right now. Because I feel like with the Seven of Wands, it's like this is someone who feels like they need to defend themselves. It's like you could be um, at a job right now and it's like you constantly feel the need to defend yourself. It's like you could be feeling like your boss or co-workers are trying to attack you here. And with the Queen of Swords coming out, I feel like a lot of you guys are really debating on cutting this out, on leaving this job behind. Yeah, Ten of Wands. This is something that's really burdening you here. You're just stressed out. A lot of you guys feel like you have too much responsibility on your plate. And it's like you could be feeling like, you know, why am I, why do I have all of this workload on me? Why am I burning myself out at this job if, number one, I don't feel appreciated? And number two, you know, some of you guys could be struggling financially or you just feel like you're not getting paid enough for the amount of work that you're uh, taking here. Okay, Ace of Cups. Yeah, a lot of you guys are very creative and it's like there's something creative that you love to do. Um, and I feel like this could really help you out here. This is something that you want to pursue possibly. 10 and 1, that's that 11, the justice. You know, I feel like, you know, it's like you're debating on making this huge decision of leaving something, leaving your job behind to pursue um, something that you're really passionate about, something that really aligns with you that you love to do here, something creative. The moon, but there's a lot of fear here, fear of the unknown. Am I going to, you know, is this going to take me somewhere? Is this going to pay the bills? Is this going to pay rent? You know, will this be successful or am I going to fail at this? Tell me more about Aries' career and finance. What's coming towards their career and finance for Aries? There's that justice. You're going to have to make a decision here. You know, the justice is being honest with yourself, okay? It's about being fair. Being fair to you here. Seven of Pentacles. If you're not, if you feel like, if I'm speaking to an Aries that um, is trying to get a position here and it's like you feel like you're losing control over the situation because you could be, you know, like I said, dealing with some competition here. It's like, you know, it, a position opened up and it's like you applied for it and you really want this position, but then you got coworkers here also fighting for this position. I do feel like this is going to go in your favor with the seven of pentacles, this is you, you know, really investing your time and energy. This is you putting in the work and the work paying off for you, okay? Nine of pentacles, yeah. I, if if you are applying for a position, you're going to get this, I feel, okay? The nine of pentacles is a reward. It's, a, it's an achievement. But if you're an Aries that is planning on leaving behind a job, I feel like this is going to go in your favor regardless, I really do feel like your finances are definitely going to be growing. They're going to be expanding. Nine of Pentacles is a reward. It's success. It's an achievement. It's independence. Okay. So this is pretty nice. Let's see what's going on in love. What do we have for Aries in love? What's going on in Aries love life? Show me the current energy in Aries love life. 
healthy love, trust, good communication, comfortable talking about things, feeling emotionally and physically safe sharing the effort supports one another in a relationship so there is a healthy love coming towards you running game i feel like a lot of you guys were dealing with somebody that was running game here and a lot of you guys are wanting something healthy you want to be able to trust someone okay but i'm also kind of feeling like whoever this person is this is somebody that's wanting a healthy love here with you i feel like in the past aries this is someone, like I said, that was running game, getting finesse, lying about their intentions, trying to get in them draws, cheating, keep playing with your heart chakra, being treated or feeling like a fool. So a lot of you guys are having your, your, there is healthy love coming towards you. And a lot of you guys, this is someone that wants to change things here with you. Okay. That's that star energy with this six of cups. This is a wish being granted here. compromise so this person wants to compromise here with you aries this person wants to compromise here with you that's that major decision that you have to make here how is this person currently feeling towards aries page of wands this is someone that definitely wants to start over with you this could be someone younger than you or it's like this person could be a little bit childish you know the page of wands is a student this is someone that has a lot of growing up to do here how, how else is this person feeling towards Aries? The two of wands. I do see this, this person planning on messaging you here. Page of wands is something good. It's good news coming in. So I feel like this is something that you've been wishing for. Clarify these two cards. Four of wands. A lot of wands energy. So I'm, I'm feeling like this is... This is either a fire sign that you're dealing with, another fire sign, or this is a very strong connection you share with this person. Four and two is six, which is the lovers, Gemini energy. This is either a twin flame or a soulmate connection, but this is a very deep bond that you share with this person. And I feel like you have a decision to make here. Ace of Wands, damn. <laughs> Not only is it passionate, but it's sexual too, I feel. You know, it's like you're both magnetically drawn to each other. But you have a choice here. And this is someone that wants to start over with you. This is a brand new beginning. Look at that. The death card with the world right underneath it could be dealing with the Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. This person wants to put an end to a cycle between you two, Aries, okay? 13 and 1 is 14, which is the temperance. This is about balance, harmony, divine timing. In divine timing, this person is going to be returning and this is someone that wants a rebirth here with you. They want things to change. They want things to transform between you two and they want to end a cycle here, a karmic cycle, something that has been going on around and around and around between you. Okay, let's get an oracle message out for you guys. Message for Aries, please. New beginnings, begin your new life. So you have a brand new beginning coming towards you. Choices, make the best choices. I'm telling you, you guys have major choices to make in love and in your career. Let's read the new beginning message. New beginnings burst with assertive confidence and excitement, marking the start of a new direction full of adventures. You are in a good position to use abilities and desires to reach your full potential. You are being guided to act now and use this creative energy and enthusiasm enthusiasm to get this project successfully underway. You are being driven by a creative force. So yeah, there was that Ace of Cups energy that came out earlier in your career. A lot of you guys are very creative. There is something that you're passionate about, something that you have a lot of talent in that I feel will really take you a, a long way here, Aries, okay? Your mantra is, I am excited and ready for a new beginning. Comment that below, claim it. I am excited and ready for a new beginning. What other messages do we have for Aries? What other messages do we have for Aries? You have intuition. Follow your inner compass. Half of intuition is listening. The other half is acting. 
If you have asked, you will receive an answer. It is time to listen and follow your guidance. Okay, so Aries, you know, a lot of you guys really need to listen to your intuition here. A lot of you guys, it's like your intuition is telling you to make this decision, to take this, you know, action here. You have acting here twice. Okay, so a lot of you guys, it's like you're pondering right now. That Knight of Wands, it's like you guys are going back and forth on making a huge decision here. And with that moon that came out earlier, I feel like there's a lot of fear. There's a lot of anxiety of the unknown. Okay, listen to your intuition. The moon is about trusting yourself. Bottom of the deck, you have choice. I'm telling you, this has choice written all over it. Choose your own adventure. You, have o you always have choice. You always have choice when deciding how to respond to a situation. Choose well, use your courage and wisdom to serve the greatest good. Choose wisely here, Aries. As a matter of fact, I want to read that message that came out. Make the best choices, right? That's what it was. Or was it choice? There it goes, choices. Human nature comes with the greatest responsibility, free will to make the choices and to accept the consequences of one's actions, words, and thoughts. Everyone makes the choice to accept situations as they are or to take the responsibility to change them. Make the decisions that are best for you and as you will never be able to please everyone. Choose your actions based on your own personal values. Regret nothing. Your choice determines the consequences. Mantra, I take responsibility for my choices. So there is a, you got to do what's best for you here, Aries. That's what I'm hearing. You have to do what is best for you. Some of you guys, it's like you're scared to make a decision because you're constantly thinking about other people, how other people will feel here. Worry about you, focus on you. What is the mantra for Aries? The affirmation for Aries. Sorry. What is the affirmation for Aries? Action taker and finances. There is something big. Your finances, your career is a huge factor in your life right now. I feel like this action that you need to take has to do with your career. And this is something that you've been pondering on, I feel. Okay. You have action taker. To carry me forth into the life I want to live, I will focus on my actions. I allow myself to think, to plan, and to pause. However, I will not get stuck in this mindset to grow and learn. I take external steps to improve my state of being. And then you have finances. I can spend or save my money how I see fit. I have worked hard and to own I have worked hard to own what I have, and it is my choice. And my choice alone, how to use it. No one can take this freedom away from me. I definitely have to title this uh, video with something about choice because you have a lot of decisions here to make, a, a huge choice to make here, a lot of choices to make. Let's put it like that. Um, when it comes to your love interest here, when it comes to the people in your life, and when it comes to a particular uh, career path that you are planning on taking here, Aries, okay? Um, do not let fear hold you back. So this is what I have for you, Aries. I hope that this reading resonated. If it did, please do not forget to hit the like button below if you haven't done so already. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.